there is Australian as Lamingtons or Vegemite, but the story behind the Anzac biscuit may be more myth than legend. Reporter Alex Baker went to investigate the history of one of our favourite sweet treats. They're an Australian icon and every April the smell of oats and golden syrup wafts from kitchens around the country. I think this is just a little bit of something that makes us Australian and feel good about uh, being Australian. Bakery on O'Connell has been making more than 300 Anzac biscuits a day in the lead up to tomorrow. Beautiful. They really are. They're good. Once I tasted them for the first time, I had to have that recipe and I chased it down. It's been a long-held belief that the homemade version of the biscuits were sent to Australian and New Zealand troops in World War I, but that may not actually be the case. There wasn't a recipe until the end of the war that was actually called Anzac biscuits. Food scholar Professor Barbara Santich has researched the biscuit and found there were plenty of tips and advice on how to make and send puddings and cakes during the war, but no such evidence for biscuits. There was a, a bit of a craze for naming things with the name Anzac. You can see that it would be possible to apply the name Anzac to a biscuit that might have had some similarities even to what they had had in their rations. So the true history behind the bicky may forever remain a mystery, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. Elise Baker, Nine News.